Hey guys, this is Lucky with Mad Wolf Pack Alliance. I am going to try to do a little more recap with our sister clans here and see how that works out. We are in Insane Wolf Pack and I'm going to do a recap on two wars ago, which is one of the ones I wanted to do before. So we're going to do the one with Senior Destroyer. Seems to be our latest uh, perfect war. I want to start out with our number one who hit our enemy's number one, Pepe, and that is Zadok. We're going to show him do a La Luna attack. So check this out. First of all, we got like a four corners base, pretty much a standard internet type base. You can defeat it any number of ways. But what makes this base especially not so great is heroes on the outside so easy to pick pick off and you'll see him do this real quick before he does his air attack and here we go so he drops his golem with a few wizards behind him clean up some of the trash gunk enemy archer queen is already locked onto the golem it makes it the archer queen a very easy target for the wizards three attacks six attacks and that Archer Queen is down. Drops the other Golem. Get the latest bit of those trash buildings out of the way. And then you see him drop a Quad Quake at the 2 o'clock point of the inner cubicle areas. As we see, we've already triggered the Clang Castle troop with the Lava Hound in there. And is not doing any damage whatsoever to the Golem and the Barbarian King. Going right into the core there. And his goal is to knock down not one, but two of the air defenses. As well as take out the Archer Queen. And he's already started his air attack, not wasting any time. And he's going against the air sweepers, of course. Well, unfortunately. But he brought in some rages and some haste to help alleviate that little obstacle. We got one hound that just popped and it's basically overkill. Look at this. Nothing is stopping these loons because they still got one more lava hound still rocking around with the loons. Taking out the last few bit of defenses. Activates his archer queen ability. We got two more archer towers, a cannon, we got plenty of pups down here taking care of the cleanup crew down there. We still got our Barbarian King just moseying around, wondering what's going on. Last Archer Tower goes down, and it's just cleanup time. Got a couple of pups locked on to the uh, Barbarian King. Now, the, his. Uh, Archers and like one one or two uh, wizards that he had left that he dropped right over there. I probably would have dropped it right over here at this army camp right there. But regardless, you have plenty of time to get the 100. Great job, Zadok. Alright. Next attack I want to show you guys is... Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh yeah, Cali Turk. I think this might be... I'm not sure if this is his first time doing an Earthquake Gola Loon, but... This base, if you see this, this is absolutely perfect for an earthquake, which means, you know, quad quake, go la loon attack. And what he's going to do is drop a quad quake right over this mortar, drop down all the walls around it because he wants to take out the Archer Queen, the two air defenses, get the CC lore and the CC kill on that as well. And he's going to be dropping two golems right here at the top corners with some wizards behind it and then the the uh, the heroes the barbarian king and the arch queen and their job is to take out those targets I just mentioned you can either use a rage or heal or just a heal and his uh, 
his uh, hero should be just good enough just to take care of all that. And you can modify the uh, spell combo how you how you think works for you. I personally like to do uh, two rages, one heal, actually one rage, one heal, uh, a poison, quad quake, and a haste to uh, help my loons on the bottom part of this base. Let's watch him do this. So he's dropped the quad quake. That goes down. Drops his golems. With some whizzes behind. Very nice. Setting up that uh, funnel for your heroes and your kill squad. Good job. And nothing is touching those wizards right now. Everything is concentrated right on the golems. Drops his heroes. Now worry about this archer queen going off to the left here. But luckily that wizard took out that uh, one junk building over there. So she's going to go into the core. we got a lava hound in the CC. All the kill squads going into the core. Drops the heal. The Arch Queen is getting whacked on by the Barbarian King. Arch Queen goes down. We got both of those air defenses getting destroyed. And there they go. On, oh, they're down. And now he can start with his air attack right now. He doesn't even need to wait. But good job on the top. I wouldn't wait that for the only critique I would say is spread out your lava hounds like drop one where he dropped both of them but drop another one maybe down here by the uh, the builder hut and then drop three to four balloons per say archer tower or whiz tower but this is good enough this base basically only has max town hall eight type level defenses but with the number of Town Hall 9 defenses. So, not a max Town Hall 9, but this, again, is a base that is perfect to try this attack out. And it's super easy. It's basically, you divide it into two halves. The top half is your ground kill squad. The bottom half is your air, your air uh, raid. And you can see he's got plenty of balloons. Just to split off, you save some archers for the outside. He's got lo uh, lava pups that are cleaning up those spare buildings down there. Now, only if we could get like an air mine or air bomb or something to pop that last lava hound. And this would speed this all along just nicely. Nice job, Kelly. Nice job. All right. Another attack I want to show you is from our, another one of our Town Hall 9s. He, to, he puts a nice little spin on... Uh, where is it? There it is. He puts a nice little spin on the Hog attack. And as you can see, he brings five archers, one giant, three dragons. What? With a Hog attack? Not a lot of people do it, but he seems to pull it off. And I actually like his creativity with it. He brings 30 Hogs. Uh, and in his clan castle, he also brings another dragon with, I believe, another hog or two to uh, top him off, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. But look at his heroes. He's going to get a level 10 Barbarian King, level 5 Arja Queen, 4 heals, and 2 poisons. Now, after the latest update, everyone should know by now, you can't just drop double poison on an idle uh, dragon. Because any idle troops, they send the, uh, the uh, poison... Uh, spell they're gonna leave it so you need something to anchor the CC troops in place give them a target to shoot at without getting killed by your troops and then you can drop the poison spells and that'll help kill the kill squad uh, sorry kill the CC troops my mistake anyway let's uh, see what he does here because this is a really cool attack Alright, so he tries to lure the CC with one hog right here. Doesn't work. He's going to try again, a little bit higher. Don't waste too much time. There you go. And he gets the CC lure. Good job. And he anchors it down with an archer. Archer's pretty safe. 
Just went, uh, shooting at the uh, builder hut. He's got the dragon and the balloon down there. So now he starts with the poisons. Now as you can see, the, the CC troops, because they're idle, they're going to leave the poison spell. But, oh, there's an archer. I'm going to go get it. I don't care about that poison cloud. So now watch what he does here. And he drops a dragon and two dragons to take care of the CC dragon. No contest. And then, drops another dragon. He wants to create a funnel right here. Get a little bit of the uh, junk buildings out of the way. But then, watch what the Archer Queen does. Oh, got the attention of the dragon. Dragon goes straight to the Archer Queen. One hit, two hit. And it's going to do the same thing with another dragon. Oh, now both of them are after her. Boom, she's down. And the Archer Queen is safe. She's going to start whacking away. And drops his hogs. And they go straight into that core with all these defenses. Drops the heal down. And they're going to town. They are just going to town. They split off. Drops another heal up at the top right corner, another in the left, and these hogs are super safe. There's no double giant bombs to really worry about here. While the hogs are going to work, the dragons and the heroes are just cleaning up. He's got one more heal, he's going to save it for the top, drops it down. No worries, plenty of hogs to get the rest. And all defenses are down. And as we see, we have one dragon who's lured, uh, latched on to the clan castle. And he's going to go for the town hall after that. While everyone else is just cleaning up the outside buildings. This is a super cool attack. I don't see any of my other guys doing this. So I don't see a lot of other people doing this too. So he makes very good use of the dragons to take care of the CC and the Archer Queen and clean up. I mean, they, they are multi-use if you use them right. Great job, Helder. All right, that's all I got for you guys for this war recap. Uh, stay tuned, and I will make sure I'll do one of our latest uh, wars to do another recap for us. Again, this is Lucky, and I will see you guys later. Bye.